Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I was out with the Nikon D5500 with the Nikon 85mm F1.8G and I have to tell you, it's a beautiful lens. I went down to Rath Park, so you can see that here in the images. First off, I just want to show you, I just, we're just going to go through some of the images here. I want to show you um, the bouquet and out-of-focus areas and how sharp the lens is. It's pretty cool. But what I wanted to show you is the develop mode here I went into because uh, Lightroom will open in Adobe Standard which looks kind of um, it's almost like ungraded video footage so I always change it to what it looked like in the camera which I usually shoot in camera standard unless I want something else for some reason but that's my default is the camera standard so I like to put the Lightroom to that so it looks like how I saw it in the camera and that's pretty much how I saw it in the camera so that is the sign for Roth Park we are at, uh, let's see here, one four thousandths of a second at f1.8. I was trying to basically shoot mostly at f1.8 just to show you how it looks. Now, let's go back to the beginning of these. Um, and you might wonder, why did I shoot a piece of snow fence over a metal post? I wanted to show you, look at the shallow depth of field. If you look in the center here, you'll see that that is in focus, but the bar directly behind it, like maybe two millimeters or something, is out of focus already. And then the background behind that is just creamy, blown out bouquet. It's gorgeous. Uh, there's another shot here without the bar. It's just the fence. And you can see, you can't make out anything. It's just a beautiful out of focus area. Um, the F1.8 here is rocking. And I mean, this is the D5500. Very nice camera, very nice capability. But it is APS-C. It is not full frame. So, I mean, you get even more shallow depth of field on full frame. But just to show you that, you know, even APS-C, you get really good shallow depth of field. We've got a uh, shot of uh, some new uh, greenery. Everything along this path in Roth Park was actually not much in bloom. We didn't stay here long. Uh, the next shot uh, was fuzzy, so we skipped to this one. Again, some new fresh green buds, and you can see that the incredibly shallow depth of field here. Very nice bouquet out of focus area on this lens. Really like this lens. There is some moss on a log, and you can see how shallow the depth of field is there. That's at 1 1600th of a second at f1.8, uh, ISO 800. This one's actually not even that tack sharp focus. I don't know if that was, it's one four thousandths of a second, so I must not just nailed the focus very well on that one. Um, here's just a post, a rotted out post. But again, look, the background is just totally blown out here at f1.8. Just beautiful. Same post, just a little different exposure. I was playing around with the exposure on here. I think I mostly shot in aperture priority just to leave it on uh, f1.8 and letting the D5500 do the. Um, do the exposures, which for the most part work good. And we're back to the Roth Park sign. Then we moved over to Southside Park here in Woodstock. And Southside Park's kind of cool because there's more to shoot. There's lots of wildlife and geese and ducks and things. So we got a pair of ducks here. And again, you could see um, the front area is out of focus. The middle-ish area with the ducks is tack sharp. And the background goes ever more out of focus. Very nice lens. Again, just zoomed in on the single duck. Zoomed in with my feet here, obviously, with the 85. It is a prime lens. And um, a couple of geese standing on the uh, water's edge there. And you can see the background. It's pretty good out of focus there. I mean, you can you can make out there's a neighborhood there, but you can't really see any details. Very nice out of focus background. Um, the iris blades in this lens just do render a very nice out of focus area the very nice bouquet um, I find it just beautiful it's a gorgeous lens we have another shot here with a couple of I think somebody told me these were a type of geese in my last photo with the XA2 that I had taken a shot of these I can't remember what it was called and there's another one a little, little closer I'd walked in a little closer these guys were pretty tame they let me get pretty close but you can see um, the eye on that front goose uh, is very sharp and then it goes background is going out of focus and uh, just really nice lens really enjoyed shooting with this lens this flower here um, 
the petals in the center of the, I guess that's the iris, I guess, in the center of the flower. I think that's what they call it. I can't remember my science class from grade nine. Um, the exposure here is a little underexposed. I would probably pull this up. Let's see here. Go up to our exposure and probably at least something like that. So, but not bad. It's another the same shot. It's a decent shot of the goose. You can see the head is very sharp in focus there. Let's see if we can zoom in a bit here. What did that take us to? That's probably, uh, let's see. Looks like one to one. Why isn't it telling me that? Probably oh, there we go. Yeah, that is one to one. So pretty sharp there. And uh, look at the out of focus area. It is just amazing. So um, nice, nice lens. Another shot of the goose. Must have the focus. It looks like on the wing here because. The, the head is good, but it looks like a... Well, that's hard to say. Decent shot, though, as far as sharp. Now, here we had... Uh, we're back to see our um, the white swan who has a nest, rather large nest with some eggs. I don't believe that was... I think that was the, um, the, the father. I don't think that was the mother there grooming herself. And again, you can see the, uh, the background out of focus. Uh, even here, like the, uh, the front area... Because we're a ways away from the subject here. I don't know what I was here. Five, six feet anyways. Maybe ten. Uh, but the background's still nicely out of focus. A few more shots of the swan. Autofocus was fast and quick with the 85mm F1.8G on the Nikon D5500. No problems there whatsoever. And uh, overall, I was just really impressed with the lens. It's a joy to shoot with on the 5500. I'm going to put it on the DF. I still have the DF here, and we'll go out there. You can see here the uh, the duck, the uh, colorful one. I guess that's the mallard, uh, the the male. He is nicely in focus, and the female's not. That's that shallow depth of field there. And uh, let me see. I'll go back to the library mode so we could see our settings. And yeah, we're still at f1.8. I think for the most part, these are all at f1.8. And here you get the pair. They're almost on the same plane, so they're pretty much in the same field of focus there. Some more shots of the swans. There's the mama swan getting back into her nest to sit back on her eggs. You can see the rocks in the background nicely out of focus there. I'm going to go through and put a bunch of these photos up on Google+, Plus, so I will... Um, put the uh, out-of-camera JPEGs up there for you to have a peek through so you can look at the original files if you want. I'll put the link below for you. Here you can see I uh, I nailed the focus on the tree behind the swan. <laughs> so uh, the swan is out of focus. And again, you can see how shallow the depth of field is here. Did it again. There we go. I guess I was trying to aim on the beak. So uh, that's uh, that nicely out of focus background. Nice and sharp on the uh, the beak there. Again, we have the uh, shots in on the head. Neat little protrusion area on the above the nose, on the beak there. You can clearly see the um, the banded number on the webbed feet there on its ankle. Obviously, some out of focus shots here. I was working. I think what I was, if memory serves, there, what I was doing with that was I was working with the D fifty five hundred and trying to get. Um, playing around with the touch screen tap and shoot and it seemed to not I could get focus at a closer distance not using the touch screen it seemed to extend the uh, focusing distance it, it didn't didn't like to focus as close with the touch screen um, that's at least was my initial observations I gotta go back and look at that again but that's what I came away thinking and here's some more shots of some flowers just illustrating. Look at the beautiful blown out background. The bouquet on here is gorgeous. And um, just really nice shallow depth of field. And it's an F1.8 lens. It's not an F1.4. Just goes to show you. And on an APS-C body. So looking really nice here. Here we must have hit. Looks like we hit focus over on one of the back uh, petals instead of the, the center of the flower there. There's a better, better shot there. 
looking very nice. That the the rendering of this lens is just gorgeous with the out of focus backgrounds. I I just love it. I would purchase this lens. A little bit hot here on this one. I'd probably pull this one down to let's see here somewhere around there. Take it down half a stop looks better. Really, really nice creamy out of focus area. You can look see here the in the background the uh, other blue flowers behind the ones that are in focus in the front. Um, you know, this is a patch of flowers and it just renders the 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 the, the drop off of the of the um, focus area and the, and the depth of field is just beautiful on this f18 uh, 85 millimeter from Nikon. Another shot of the flowers. Really a great way to show the, uh, and here we go, we, I'm focusing on one uh, where there's flowers in the front and flowers in the background. You can just see the nice bouquet, the nice shallow depth of field again there. Just very beautifully illustrated uh, the, the the ability of this lens. Now this uh, looks like we have some flare or something going on here. I'm not exactly sure what is happening there. Could just use a contrast boost. I did have the um, the hood on. So, there were, on this one, I um, don't think I was using tap and shoot, but I had the uh, the LCD screen flipped out and holding it down at ground level makes it much easier to take that shot rather than lying on the ground, but I'm, you know, right down at ground level with these ducks here. Uh, it makes for a very interesting composition, and look at the nice out-of-focus background here. Again, pretty close-up shot, F1.8 on the uh, eye of this uh, goose. So another one, looks like the, the first shot nailed it better. Second shot, not as, as tight on the eyeball. Here's a shot of the uh, boathouse, the pavilion down at the South Side Park. It's like a shot of the sign. Two taps pretty much side by side. A little bit of an angle of shooting and you can see how out of focus the left blue tap is there. Just from that nice shallow depth of field. It's another shot of it. Shot of a lock on the utility box there. Again, shallow depth of field. You can see the inside, the focus looks like it's locked nicely on the inside, the pistols and stamen. That's what seems to come to mind. I think those are the correct terms of the inside of the flower. Uh, and how everything else is nicely out of focus. Another shot there. Had a lot of fun shooting this lens. It fits nicely with the 55. Uh, with the D5500, uh, and it works very nice. Another few shots, some nice purple color. Again, just look at that out of focus background there, just gorgeous. Here's some shots of some uh, mushroom type stuff on a tree. Oh, and here I swung around as a goose was flying in onto the uh, creek or little river, whatever you want to call it, uh, and the D5500 just nailed these shots. I uh, no special settings here. Just started firing away, and it looks like almost all of this sequence is in pretty decent focus. And these are all at uh, f one eight. So uh, you know that one there's not not bang on. Looks like it was nailing the maybe the the wake at the back of the bird. And uh, oh, here's some shots I did back at the house with Darth Vader Lego figure on top of the bird. <laughs> Anyways, that is the sequence from, from Roth Park. I'll go back through this uh, shots with the bird here. I'm going to have to work on a few of these. I kind of like some of these. He's coming in there. Got the wings out, or feet out. Hits the water. Not bad for F1.8. And uh, just turning and banging out the focus. I didn't have it set on any fancy tracking or anything. We were just shooting away anyways there's some just initial shots for you to see the bouquet and the the um, out of focus area what it looks like on the 85 f18g it's working really nice on the d5500 really like it the 5500's autofocus system is working a charm with it um, and i'm just really enjoying the lens um, you know as you could see on some of these shots um, the out of focus area 
is just gorgeous on this lens. Uh, no complaints there at all. Um, anyways, uh, if you guys had any questions about the lens, make sure and leave a comment. Let me know. I'll see if I can get them answered for you. I'm going to put the 85 onto the DF and get some, hopefully get some shots done with that for you. And um, then I'm going to shoot it against the 50 uh, F1.8G to give you an idea what the difference is on bouquet and out of focus area depth of field all that type of thing and uh yeah we'll go from there thanks for tuning in stay tuned we'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com thanks <laughs>